How old was you when you found out you can trade the stock market like you do in the Forex market? I was today's years old when I found this out. Now back to the continued broadcasting. Man, real quick, y'all look at the goals in the background. You know, you got to have the goals, man. You got to have the goals. You got to have the goals. But look, let's get straight to the video. Let's get you to, to the knowledge, to, to the key to your success, big fella. Be sure to go like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm about to lace y'all up with some game. So, I was today was whenever I found out that you can trade the stock market like you trade the Forex market. Look at this. Let me explain. Okay, so let me go to Doge US. This is the Wib the Wibble. Wibble. Sorry if I said that wrong, no judgment. But anyways, uh so you see Dogecoin price action is at obviously at 18 cent, right? So you scroll over, you guys see what I got drawn out here? I got my support and resistance lines. And this doesn't have a cursor like the other app does. So maybe it does. I just haven't figured it out. But look at that. I have my 9 EMA, my 20 EMA, my 200 EMA, and my 50 EMA. What? The same colors and everything. And let me just zoom out a little bit. What does, what does that look like it's forming? What letters that look like it's forming? A W. Nuts, right? And look at my trend line. Look where my trend line is at. What? Hold on, wait. Trend line. Terry, did you just say trend line? In the stock market? Yes. In the stock market. You can trade it just like you trade in the Forex market. Pause play. Trend line. Support and resistance. Moving averages. Even the RSI. Do y'all not see the RSI right there? It's still at the what? Parentheses number 14. Okay. I think right now RSI is at 51 on this pair. Now let's just let this sink in right quick. You're telling me that you will know when to buy and sell in the stock market the same way that you can buy and sell in Forex? That's nuts, bro. That is nuts. I got to tell the world about this because now I just became really rich today. So my thoughts is once Dogecoin either breaks my 50 or let's see. So you see the nine, which is my purple line. I don't know if you guys can see that as much. Let me turn my brightness up right quick. Turn my brightness up right quick. So you see the nine, which is my purple. The red is my 20. The white is my it's my 50, and the blue, obviously, is my 200 EMA, okay? So, you see how it broke the 9 or broke the 20? Oh, big fella. And my J-Hen boy. Shout out to you, bro. That's crazy. It even has candlesticks. You can even see it wicking out right there. The green one. Look like it's wicking out right there, y'all. It is nuts, bro. This is just like what? Trading in Forex. It looked like it came up to the 9. Hit the support. Came up to the 20. Looked like it actually shot up really nice, right? Then it rejected right there once it passed the 50. Came back down. 20. Nah, right? Oh, looked like it did my ping pong method, which is nuts. Rejected out the 9. Kind of was stagnant right here between that 20. And then like it just been kind of consolidating in this area right here. Okay. And let me show you what's crazy. Consolidation. So... Let me show y'all where it's consolidating. So you see these buttons down here? You got the money sign and this right here. Yeah. You hit draw. Then you hit what? Horizontal lines. Just like 4X, bro. It's crazy, right? Just like 4X. So it's consolidating this area right here. Really, you probably should do about right here. Okay. But that's what it's looking like right now. And I'm going to throw that away. So I just wanted to show you guys, you can do the same thing that you're doing Forex. Man, you can draw trend lines. You can do support and resistance lines. My, my resistance is up here. Okay, see that? My support is down here, just like Forex. My trend line is right here from the highest. From the last time it was this high was, I don't know, forever, right? And look, I'm show you something else just crazy. Hold on. Oh, man, I'm trying to move that. Show you something else just crazy, though. I don't know. I won't, it won't let me get off of it. All right, there we go. Anyway, it's fine. It's ugly, but it's fine. Uh, 
You got the... What? What, bro? You got a minute? Oh, man. Look, you got the two minutes, the three minutes, the five minutes. The four hours. You know, four hours is my favorite. But since this is a stock market, you definitely want to look, look at the higher time frames. Come to the daily. Okay. You got the weekly. And look at that. We all remember when Dogecoin was at that 70, 74 cent mark, right? Look at that. That was the highest high. So if I was to draw a support line here, or sorry, a resistance line, I say support, sorry. A resistance line up here, this would be the higher high of Dogecoin. Y'all notice at the top, this is Dogecoin. Okay. Now that's the higher high. Look at that. What letter do y'all see? I mean, if y'all don't see that M right there, I don't know what y'all looking at. You see it? I mean, you see it? Oh, there you go. All right. Anyways, back to the continue programming. But yeah, man, it's nuts. And obviously, got the monthly, the quarterly, and the yearly. But I'm I'm using the daily. The daily just always it's just become my best friend now. But look how's look like look how that nine, which is my purple line, is is trying to cross the twenty. Just like the Forex market. You don't believe me, right? Okay, let me show you something. Now, I will say this. You can't just sell when it's going down and buy when it's going up. When you buy in the stock market, okay? When you buy in the stock market, you have to hold it for a little while. A little while. Now, let me wind you back right quick. Realistically, you're supposed to trade Forex like that anyways. You're not supposed to... Buy, sell, buy, sell every single day. Because why? That means you are being a risky trader, a retail trader. You should be holding your trades until you are happy enough with the profits for you to step away for a couple of months. Not make $1,000 here, $100 there. No, man. I mean, that's cool. Do not get me wrong. I still somewhat do it. Okay. But now I'm having long-term goals and long-term money. Because I'm thinking outside the box, like, man, why does everybody always talk about this wheat bull? Why does everybody always talk about stocks? Why don't nobody talk about Forex? This is why. Because Forex in the stock market has a lot of similarities. The only difference is with Forex, it's, it can be a, you, you try to get, get rich quick. With stock market, you got to hold it. Literally have to hold it. Because you know, and whenever you're trading in the Forex market, you be holding and it blows your account. With stocks, it's a little bit different. Okay? It's a little bit different. And as I get more advanced and knowledgeable about this, I will drop more gems and videos for y'all. But real quick, let me go to the Forex market right quick. Same deal, y'all. Same deal. Oh, yeah, by the way. Just update y'all right quick. I did a. Uh... Hold on. This ain't even gonna work. All right. Anyways, this is a demo account. Anyways, but I was just trying to show y'all. So it's a demo account. But uh. Anyways uh. So. Look at that. Sure, the background is different. Okay, the background is different. But it's the same thing, man. Look at my EMAs. 200 EMA. 9 EMA. 20 EMA. Call this my 34 Doo Doo Brown EMA. And the 50. Now I didn't I didn't add Doo Doo Brown on uh the stock market chart. Because I feel like that would be doing too much. But man, it's the same thing, y'all. It's the same exact stuff. I don't know where my support lines is, but look. Hold on. Let me hold it. No, oh, it's going to give me issues. It's not going to let me do it. It's not going to let me do it. Anyways, okay. So, same thing, y'all. Same exact thing. Ain't nothing changed. Sorry, y'all. You're my kids yelling in the background. It's day after Christmas. But, same thing. Ain't nothing changed, y'all. Nothing changed. Everything's still the same. It's nuts, right? And you got the RSI, right? Got the moving averages, same exact thing. So I just feel like I should share that with y'all, and you can do this in Robinhood too. Hold on, hold on, quick and pause this. 
Alright, I'm here. And I haven't really been in Robin Hood a lot, but let's just go to the Tesla, for example, right? So you see I got the candles drawn out. Hold on. I'm going to the weekly, got the monthly, three months, whatever. I'm going to go to the daily. And then I can't remember exactly how to add indicators on this. Because I couldn't really uh, use it the same as I do with the Wibble since I've created it. So that's why I've kind of made a withdrawal. But uh, yeah, man, it's nuts. So if you're really knowledgeable and know how to analyze the markets and Forex, you really can do the same thing with the stock markets. Pay attention to the news. Okay, didn't even have news for you in this app. Pay attention to the news. See what the news is saying. See what people are doing. And yeah, man, that's how you make your trades. Okay. Like I said, if this comes down to that support, then I'm probably going to get in. If it bounces off that 20 or the 9, I'm probably going to get in. You know, and I'm just going to hold it. And it's going to be a long-term game. So my goal, realistically, is hoping that this comes back up to that resistance. Now, that might not happen. It might not touch exactly to that resistance at least not right now but eventually it's going to get up there so if i hold it out or wait it out for another couple of months or maybe even a years then i'll become rich what, what was what was the statistic hold on dogecoin let me show y'all this man making this video a little bit longer than what i wanted to um <sighs> See, give me all those options. Look, look, January twenty twenty one, right? Hold on. I don't know. If this is the right link. I'm just winging this. Probably making this video a little bit too longer. Yeah, I was gonna give it to me. There it goes. A thousand dollar Dogecoin purchase from January one of two thousand one. At a price less than a cent per coin would be worth $121,000. If you would have invested $1,000 back in January 1. I'm upset because I missed out on it too. But however, learn these markets, okay? Of course, I'm going to be doing a course about this. I'm going to be showing y'all how to do everything. But learn these markets, okay? Learn how to trade. Learn how to analyze. Learn what means what, what coin, what uh, candlesticks mean, what RSI means, what the EMAs mean. And you're going to be good, man. I'm giving you the game. I'm giving you the game. Other YouTubers are giving you the game. There's no secret. You just got to try it out, figure it out, play with it, and then you'll win. Because faith without works is dead. Remember that. But if you don't take any actions, you're never going to get anywhere. So, sorry I made this video a little bit too long. But this is Terry D, the one and only motivational speaker. And remember to put God first and everything will work itself out. Peace.